Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Becky. We're gonna give you a rundown of everything inside and out on Cook's Headers and Exhaust. Tubing land! It's like Tool World in Lowe's, except better. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Becky. Today we are kicking off the meat and potatoes of our series, walking you through all of the intricate processes that give you the final result that is a cook's header or cook's exhaust. So first things first, raw material. We use the best of the best. We use 304 stainless steel. It is resistant to corrosion and is super durable. So over time, part of our limited lifetime warranty is that we will back our product because we know that it can last the life of your car if you're taking care of it. In this area, we store all of our piping and tubing. So what you see here will eventually end up being a full exhaust or a full set of headers. It's wild. We will cut all of these tubes down into those individual increments, bend them, form them, weld them, grind them, polish them to give you the best product on the market. So all of our material is also locally sourced. We find it super important as a family owned business to also support other local companies. So as much as possible, we will source all of our material, our flat material and our tubing from local North Carolina companies. Just about the only thing that we don't build in house are gonna be our cats and our mufflers. Uh, and then of course the components that go into our installation kits like O2 extensions and bolts and things like that. Um, but aside from that, everything else starts from scratch right here with us in-house going through all of these processes that we're going to walk you through to give you that in-depth knowledge about what makes a cooked product so special. 